Now, when we talk about the scapular stabilizers, that's a little bit of a misnomer. Nothing about the scapula is truly meant to be stable. If the scapula were meant to be stable, it would have a much better bony connection, but it doesn't have a great bony connection to the body. It has an incredibly expansive muscular connection to the body. So when we talk about the scapula, we really need to think of it in terms of controlled mobility, not necessarily stability. I will use that term, scapular stability, as that's a term that we all commonly use, but I want you to think about it as really controlled mobility. So the muscles in this area that really focus on controlled mobility of the scapula include the trapezius, specifically the lower trapezius muscle, which lays right around here. We also have the middle trapezius and the upper trapezius. And this is actually really all one big fan-shaped muscle with fibers just coming in different directions. So the trapezius is an extremely important muscle group when we are talking about the shoulder. We also have the rhomboids. The rhomboids are going to lay in this direction, attaching themselves onto the medial border of the scapula, right to the center of the spine.